Hi everyone, it's Reverend Dr. Katie. I am so happy to be back with you. I've been traveling for a couple of weeks. I know I did a really quick live for you all around Halloween while I was out of town, but um, I was just taking some time for R&R. &R. We, um, we all need to do that. If you haven't done that for yourself, be sure to schedule in some time. But I wanna to talk today about the energy of 1111. So I'm recording this on November 11th, 2019 at 1111 a.m. my local time. So let's just pause. So can the energy of this, these numbers, even if you don't know what that energy is, don't worry, we're gonna get to that in just a moment. And even if you're not watching this on 11.11, at 11.11 uh, o'clock, no big deal. Uh, the energy will still be there. We're still going to tap into everything that that can mean for you and more. So what is 11.11? These are what we often refer to as angel numbers. And so y'all, let me talk about angel numbers just for a moment. These are a very modern contemporary way to connect with angels. Um, people have used numbers for millennia to be in to be sort of be in tune and touch with the spiritual world. The angel numbers themselves are pretty modern. They're contemporary. They're very fun. So ones are very powerful numbers. All numbers are powerful. Ones are very powerful numbers that remind us to take a look at our thoughts. So let me give you an example. Often when I'm when I'm wandering wandering around the world, wandering around my day, I'll catch a one one one, and I might catch it on a billboard or on a license plate, or I might glance at the clock right at that time. These numbers can come in so many different ways, and they're an instant, like instant um, millisecond reminder to me to gauge my thoughts. What is it that I was thinking? What is it that I was feeling right as I saw these numbers? So the ones are little a little angel reminders uh, to us, little universal reminders to us to guard our thoughts. So if I evaluate, what was I thinking just before I saw these numbers? And if, if, if I was thinking um, of kind of co-creation and I was thinking of the best possible life and I was thinking of service and I was thinking of all these kind of things, then the ones are kind of a reminder and I feel really good about that. Really tune into your feelings. Then the ones are a reminder to keep on in that direction. Yay, yeah, I was doing exactly what I need to be doing. But if I was thinking about kind of um, that I'm really maybe angry at someone or I was in a self-repeating loop of my thoughts and I was maybe being self-destructive in my thoughts or thinking about how hard something is, the ones are a reminder that that's not going to get me anywhere. And the ones are a reminder to process whatever it is that I need to process in order to get to the highest vibration that I possibly can to co-create the best life that I possibly can. So that sounds really lofty, but this is where it starts, y'all. This is where it starts. Your best life starts as an internal feeling, as an internal state of being that you have co-creative power over. And the ones are a very powerful reminder to do that. So let me ask you, if you find yourself in self-repeating thought patterns that don't serve you, or if you always say, I would love to do this with my life, but I can't possibly, or I would love to be able to express this gift. I would love to be able to explore this area of myself, but I can't possibly do that because, and then you name a bunch of reasons, a bunch of self-limiting beliefs, or you feel yourself caught in that spiral of thoughts that repeat and repeat and repeat, and they never give you that freedom that you desire in order to make the plans that you want to make, then ones can really be your best friend to do this. So this is why we're tapping into this energy today. It's a really, it's a fun day to do it because ones are all over the place. Every time you look at a calendar, when you look at the clock, every time you look at even this Facebook post where I put one, 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 then you're going to see these numbers. They're going to remind you to check your thoughts. So this is really a beautiful way to begin this journey. If this is all very new to you, or even if you've been doing it for a long time, I think angel numbers and using the ones to capture our energy, they remind us to be self-reflective. So I wanna put out there that these are not magical numbers. They are reminders, they're opportunities. They're like little mini portals uh, of opportunity for you to tune into yourself. Because I know that God wants the best possible of all things for you. Jesus came to give us the best possible life, the life of freedom, a life of moving forward, a life of co-creating with God. So I'm going to use that phrase again, that co-creating. We get to work with God. That's just a beautiful gift that God has given us in order to create 
the best realities that we can for ourselves and to see you know what is what is what are we out there for what is our service what is our purpose and believe it or not these little ones give you opportunities every single day every single time you encounter them to evaluate that because if you're caught in that loop in that mental loop that never ends you'll never get to where you want to be it begins now it begins with these little ones way before it manifests in your physical life in your daily life. And I am a great example of this because these ones were great reminders to me a couple of years ago as I was creating all, you know, all the beautiful things that I do now. And they were reminding me to be in service and not to have those self-limiting beliefs. And if I had those self-limiting beliefs to do whatever I needed to do to address them and get rid of them so I could move on into more spaciousness. So we start with these ones to evaluate where we are so that we can move on we can move up the scale and every time we have a self-correction on any thoughts that may be getting in our ways any feelings that may be getting in our ways that creates more spaciousness for God to work with us and it, it you, you know I, I always think God is sometimes knocking at the doors of my heart knocking at the doors of my soul and I'm sitting there in my thoughts telling God no you can't do that no, oh, that dream you have for me is not possible. And God will send me, you know, with the angels will send me these ones to be like, get out of your own way. So if you feel like you're in your own way, especially with your spiritual life, especially with your spiritual life, what could possibly be more important than that? Then the ones are reminders to us that we need to shift we need to get out of our own way so we can let God do God's work. I can't tell you how many times in the past, you know, that I've done this. I've um, had a beautiful idea and then I'll, I'll give myself all the reasons why it won't work. And I imagine God is standing there saying, but I'm the God who created the universe. He created you and I'm giving you these ideas and you're sitting here telling me that they won't work. And so the ones are just this really gentle, playful reminder, like get, let's get out of our own way so we can get busy doing the work that we are called to do. Like that's what we're here for. So ones, you know, they start with just this little reminder, but they can actually help lead us to our purpose, to fulfilling our purpose. And imagine how that feels when we can do that. And not these using these ones, the energy of these ones is just a really small way to be able to step into our larger purposes. And we can do that literally one thought at a time one thought at a time. That's where we begin. We always begin with that single um, action, that single recognition, that single moment. And that really does make a difference. So this is a great way to get into really high vibration, to measure your vibration, to do whatever you need to do to make your thoughts um, moving forward in your life, to make um, take stock of where you are, to enter into that energy so you can do it with full, wild, abandon, and loving co-creation so you can say yes uh, to God and to all the things that are coming your way, all the beautiful things that are coming your way. And I absolutely know that you can. That's why you're here. If you're watching this video, there's no other reason you would be watching this video right now Then you are called to do this. And you can do it in a way that absolutely no one else can. So use those ones to really shift forward, to create space in your life for the best possible things to come through. All right, I'm going to tune in. There's a few comments, a few questions. I'm going to tune into those and we'll see what's there. All right, so someone is having a birthday today. What a powerful birthday. Happy birthday. And yeah, and so the, your research told you that the all, all the ones can mean a spiritual calling to serve God. Yeah, especially when there's four of them in a row, which is pretty cool. And so I love that. So if you're sensing that you do have that spiritual calling to serve God and you're a Christian, you're a metaphysical Christian, you're here, you're watching this. So absolutely you do. And um, we all do at some level. And then maybe yours is like a really big level or really specific level. Yeah. So if you're kind of curious what that is and don't quite know how to get started, reach out to me. That's what I'm here for. And I love watching people step into their purpose. I, it's so much fun. I love it when I'm working with uh, individual clients and we get there and we, we name it and we claim it and we find out what it is. It's so much fun. I love it. And I love it when um, angels and all the metaphysical tools at our disposal help um, help people see that and experience it in really unique ways. It's really, really cool. And a couple other people said, hi, hello. I am so glad you are here. This is amazing. All right, y'all. So we have, um, it's been exactly 10 minutes. I'm going to talk for one more minute. So it'll be exactly at 11 minutes. And then we'll go from there. If you have any other questions, uh, just tune in. Yes, you're getting more birthday wishes. Happy birthday. I love that. And 
<laughs> excuse me, we have at least, depending on what time zone you are, you're going to have a lot of other opportunities to see ones on the clock today. I mean, ones appear, you know, every 10 minutes at the least. Uh, but you might have some opportunities for a 111 or the 11th minute uh, of every hour. Don't seek it out. Just let it happen. But when it happens, just take stock of your thoughts, um, engage them, and think, you know, what is the best possible thing that I can be doing with my head, you know, with my thoughts, with my feelings, with my heart in this moment. And then you can move forward with that. And then when you are really, really ready to move forward in a big way, and these ones are just the tip of the iceberg and really find out that purpose, you know, contact me. That's what I'm here for. I love it when you guys reach out. You can reach out on Messenger. You can reach out on email. Let me give you my email address as well. It's Katie, K-A-T-Y, at Katie. Uh, valentine.com and that's for people who are watching this on youtube later on but uh, don't have access to instant messenger on facebook all right we've been doing this exactly for 11 minutes i'm gonna um, sign off with this energy you all just write into me tell me how you're doing and i will catch up with you really soon bye-bye